This crowd is ready as we get set for the World Series. Game one is next. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Coming up, game one of the World Series on MLB The Show. It's the Seattle Mariners going up against the Atlanta Braves. John Shambi alongside Chris Singleton. There may be no better atmosphere in all of baseball than game one of the fall classic, Singy. Lots of excitement to get this thing started. Yeah, and the players feel that just as much as the fans. You're down there with goosebumps, and these guys are just trying to stay in the moment. But I'll tell you, for the home team especially, it's so hard not to be emotional and hyped up with all the energy in this building right now. And on the other side, of course, you're looking to swing home field advantage your way with an all-important opening win on the road. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Coming up on the first pitch and towing the slab, Cy Young. Well, last time out, picked up the win, didn't allow a run, pitched extremely well. He doesn't have to be perfect, but if he can give another he performance like last Seattle. time out, his team will be happy. Okay, all set Joe. to go. Digging in, Joe Morgan. Miller under it. Puts it away for the out. That and up next for Seattle, J.P. Crawford. Crawford. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. And the pitch. Strike two. One down, base is empty. Three down on strikes. And there's two down. No, that's not the best two-strike fastball I've seen, but certainly got away with the location there. You know, sometimes as a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes him. Stepping in, Mickey Mantle. The pitch. Foul ball. No score, just getting started, top of the first. Ball Next two. offering is down low. Swings through that two one. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. The 2-2. Two -two. And he hits a ground ball right side, sneaks through, base hit. And that keeps the inning going. Gotta love the resiliency he showed in that at bat, battling with two strikes. Just one of those seen high base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you enough. Next pitch is popped up. And that ends the inning. Mariners leave one. And now the Braves will get their first crack at it. No score. You're dialed into the show. We go to the bottom of the first. Today's starting pitcher, Fernando Valenzuela. What do you have on him? Four pitch guy. He's got some options to work with in terms of keeping hitters off balance. So we'll see how he decides to utilize those weapons through this start here and whether or not he's able to mix them all in early or if he wants to hold something back a little bit later maybe second go. third time through the order and the give them something field. they haven't seen Yo. it's tough when you know a guy's got that go. in his back pocket as a hitter you really have to stay on your toes and first offering is fouled off the pitch 
That one ripped left field. Way back there. Gone. An absolute blast to left. And they jump out front. It's 1-0. And the streak is alive. He's homered now at seven straight. Who does this guy think he is? Joey Votto or something? Yeah, that's ridiculous. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. Here is Ozzie Albies up to him. Batting second, the second baseman, Ozzie Albies. Lifted in the air, right center field. Makes the catch for the out. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. Left fielder, Ronald Acuna Jr. Rips that one to right. Hanniger makes the catch. Two down. Here's that Matt Olson. Good. He's no, kind of an outlier, one. especially yeah. when guys are consciously oh, sacrificing good. contact to deliver power. Smoke from the left, base hit. And that's going to get into the corner. Makes the turn and heads for second. And that's a two-bagger. You've got to get on your horse and get to that thing and get it back in because he's going to come barrel around first. He's going to put pressure on you. If you bobble it or you don't get there in a hurry, he's going to make you look silly and end up on second base. And it's scored position with two away. Now in for the Braves, Hank Aaron. This one in the air right field. Hanniger makes the catch, and that'll do it. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now 1-0. New inning getting started. Now the third baseman, A. Eugenio Suarez. Off the third baseman, A. Eugenio. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Next offering is in for a strike. He doesn't get a knock right here. That pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while. You might not see another pitch like that from a top-level guy like this. That's Next cool. one misses. One and two to count. The pitch. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher wanted, but it worked. He that got the hit. swing and miss, and I'm sure a bit of sigh of relief after seeing that one go through the zone. Here's Jared Kelnick. In there, and it's 0-1. 0-1. The pitch. And a swing and a miss there. Joe McDonald doing the home plate duties here. Well, Joe's an interesting one. I'm always trying to figure out what exactly his zone is. Feels like it kind of moves around from game to game, sometimes inning to inning. Fires across the diamond, two up, two down. Batting seven, the right fielder. Now batting Mitch, Mitch Hanniger. Hanniger. Yeah, I think that's fair. I don't think he's oh, ever well, way yeah. off with his balls and strikes, but yeah, I don't think it's easy to define what his zone is, like you said. Two outs. And it's fouled away. Deal two. Stays alive. Man, he'd like to have that pitch back. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And the Mariners set down one, two, three. Mariners are down in order. And it remains one up. Back here in Atlanta, bottom of the second. So now to the plate for Atlanta, Austin Riley. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So 
when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. And first offering is fouled off. The wind and the pitch. Swing and a base hit. And he kicks off the base of the wall. Safe at second with a leadoff double. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Now it's Randy Arozarena. This guy has turned into a beast. Seven, the designated hitter, Randy. And a sack bunt here. Suarez tosses to first, and that's an out on the sacrifice. Batting eight. Jalen Miller next up for the Braves. Game one of the World Series here tonight, and all he's hoping is that the success that he's had in the first couple of rounds continues. The great thing, you're here in the World Series. Now just try to have fun. Now this is through for a base hit. In comes the runner from third, and they take a two-run lead. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan to be aggressive. First pitch fastball in a great spot to do some damage, and he squared it up nicely. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And now it's William Contreras. The catcher. William. That's hard hit in the line. And it goes just foul. And the pitch. And there's a fly ball, deep right field. That's back there. Makes the catch up against the wall. The now bat. it's the power speed the combo. Double. Joe Brios. On a line, base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. So impressed with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. And the inning is over. But the RBI single pushes across a run. And it's two zip. All set for the start of the inning. And here's the first baseman, Abraham Toro. The first baseman. The pitch. Abraham Toro. Strike one. Oh, Do that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Kicks and fires. And a foul ball. And the right hander deals. The punch out there. One up, one down. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. At the plate, Harry Ford. Next pitch has popped up. Miller has this one sized up. Drops into the glove. Two down. Well, oh, that's a frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter right there. I mean, that pitch was right down the middle. I think he got a little too excited, came out of his mechanics. And instead of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it up. Unfortunate for him. The throw to first, and it's a 1 2 3 inning. Welcome back. Except for the bottom of the third, here's some real power at the plate. Ronald Acuna Jr. Valenzuela back to work. Acuna Jr. Into center and a base hit. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Got a fastball in the middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. Here is Matt Olson. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Hops over the wall, and that's an automatic double. The automatic double took that decision out of the hands of the third base coach, didn't it? I mean, 
Was he planning to send him home? We don't know, maybe, but now he's preparing for a whole different situation with a pair of runners in scoring position. And here is Hank Aaron down the line towards the corner. Grabs it on the run. Runners tagging from second and third. He's in to score in the sack fly, and they lead by three. Well, he's always capable of losing one over the fence. He might have just missed it right there, but a good job driving that run from third. Here's Austin Riley. And a base hit knocks in a run. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Now at the plate, Randy or Rosarena. Bunts it straight back to the mound. Throw over to Toro, out on the sack bump. With how good these offenses are, there's a lot of ball game left. Jalen Miller, next up for the Braves. Miller. And that one hammered back there. Got it! Leaping catch robs a homer. A lot of room in the center field area, and that's why he knows he's got a chance to run it down and make a great play. Leaps at the fence. Excellent job. Robs the home run to end the inning. And welcome back. Start of the fourth, and now the shortstop, J.P. Crawford. The shortstop. That one is hammered right field. That's back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Woo. He was all over that first pitch fastball. He just barely missed it. Man, this guy was ready to hit. Mantle batted for the second time, and that's strike one. And the 0 1. On the ground, out to short. Tosses the first, and a couple of quick outs. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Winker in the box with two gone, and takes a look at a called strike. Pitch misses there, and that is ball one. And the righty deals. Fought off foul. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And that's the third out. Mariners go down quietly there. They're on the short end of a 4 nothing score. at Truist Park. Ready to go. Bottom four. Now it's the Atlanta catcher, William Contreras. The catcher, William Contreras. The wind of the pitch. Back to right. He can't get there. That should be extra bases. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. A lot of times in today's game, right fielders are able to get to a ball that stays in like that, but he hit that one pretty well. And if he hits it just a little bit different on the barrel, it's out of here easily. But there's nothing wrong with the extra bases right there. And here is Joe Rios. Lined into right. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. The throw to third. And the throws offline, safe at third. Nice job of driving that pitch one. the other way Second on a line. Man. You know, hitters, Ozzie. they take so many reps in the cages Ozzie. working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. So they're at the corners now. Ozzie Albies, next up for the Braves. That's a base hit, run scores. Hanniger to third, and he's out. But one run is in to score. That's heads-up play right there. The outfielder knowing he has no shot at the runner at home, so comes up trying to cut that runner off at third and does a really nice job. Got to appreciate that. Well, this ball is crushed into left field. It's on its way and gone. 
He'll touch them all. And they add a pair. It's 7-0. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. And here comes the Mariners manager to the mound. Pitching change coming. Fernando Valenzuela won't go any further. And as he heads off, we'll step please. aside for a minute. Back now with the new pitcher the after this break. Chris Number Flexen gets the ball now. Three. He's into the game with the bases empty. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and we need a little length out of this arm coming out. Oh, now this one is blasted to right. Moore, get it. Way back there and gone. Matt Olson goes deep, and they add on. It's 8 0. Welcome to the game. First pitch out of the bullpen, a tough one. And you know he's just trying to get one in there for a strike. And on the other side, as a hitter, it's a great time to be aggressive and let it fly. It's not what they were looking for when they turned to him, but now he's got to find a way to reset. Now here is Hank Aaron. The other way. Drops in for a hit. Couldn't run it down. Man at first with one gone. Here's the third baseman, Austin Riley. Lace down the line. Base hit right field. Here comes Hammer and Hank around third. Morgan with a relay throw. The tag out. And his third hit of the game is a triple. Now that. Well, this just can't happen right there. You can't try to score from first base with less than two outs unless you can pretty much walk across the dick. And to get thrown out like that really throws water on the fire of a rally in this inning. Puts a bunt down. Morgan. Not in time. That's a bunt single. Well, that wasn't a suicide squeeze, meaning the runner from third wasn't running towards home on the pit, but he did a great job of reading the ball, going down off the bat, and that allowed him to hustle home. Perfect execution of a safety squeeze. And the batter will be the shortstop, Jalen Miller. Shortstop, Jaylen. Right side. Miller. He makes the grab, and that will end the inning. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. It's now 9 nothing. We go to the top of the fifth, and now for Seattle, a Eugenio Suarez. The third baseman. Swings and misses. Oh, one, and that is strike one. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Now this is in the air down the line. Bang on the move. Makes the grab after a long run. What a way. Well, those can be pretty fun as an outfielder. Got to put it into his highest gear and go a long way to track that one down. Nothing better than that. You feel like a wide receiver playing football. Kelman, batting with one down, takes a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's got Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance, and that one is off the top of the wall. The throw into second, and he's got a double. Good two-strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost art for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. Anytime you smoke the ball off the wall, you kind of think about what it could have been, but obviously you have to be happy with that result. And now, Mitch Hanniger. And that's in there for strike one. And there's a curve through for a strike. One out and a runner at second. Got him. And two away now. And now the first baseman, Abraham Toro. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Swings through that one. 0 and 1.
Great. Right through there, got it. And that'll do it. One left for Seattle. Steep hill to climb. It's a 9-0 deficit. Bottom of the inning. Here's the catcher, William Contreras. Well, I got a chance to meet William during spring training as he was coming up trying to get to the big leagues. And this kid's got some ridiculous pop. Watched him on the backfields taking batting practice. All of his coaches would just kind of roll their eyes and say, this kid's going to be great without actually saying the words. Then later that season, I got a chance to chat with Wilson, big brother, and ask him about little brother. And he smiled as well. Said, yeah, he's now good, bad. and he gave me that look that I think Yo. he might be better than me eventually. So digging in, Joe Rios. And a swing and a line drive at a right field, and he pulls up on it, and that's a hit. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. Didn't try to Number do too one. much with it, just Second a really hit, controlled, man. simple oh, swing. Man. We don't see a whole lot of that oh, these man. days with guys trying to launch and hit home runs, but sometimes you got to shorten up just like that. Ozzy Albee's up to the plate. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. And it bangs up against the wall. Rios coming home. He scores. It's 10 0. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming off the bat. Didn't get enough air under to drive it out of here, but you'll take that swing and that result every time. So out of the bullpen for the Mariners, now Justice Sheffield. He'll try to strand the runner at second. Justice. Here's Acuna now. Sheffield. Now batting left fielder. And that Run. one in the air Acuna. center field. Junior. Mantle makes the catch. Runner tags up for third. And now Matt Olsen now up to Matt. hit. First baseman, Matt Olsen. Smoked on the ground a second. Morgan on to first. And Olsen is set down. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. And here's the catcher, Harry Ford. Harry right through there for a strike. When a guy's throwing a lot of first pitch strikes as a hitter, you've got to be ready to hit. Now, that's not going to help you get deep into his pitch count and into the bullpen, but you've got to take what he's offering that day. Out towards right center field. Hank sizes this one up. He one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. And that's a leadoff double. The batter. Joe Morgan up next for the Mariners. Lifted in the air out to left. Acuna there. Makes the grab one down. Throws to second. Now it's the, the shortstop, J.P. Crawford. J.P. Hopped up left side. Miller should have this one. Calls it in, and there's two away. And stepping in for the Mariners, Mickey Mantle. Year in and year out, this guy an MVP candidate. And first offering is fouled off. Runner leads away at second. On the ground, Miller over to pick it up throw to first is in time and that is that we go to the bottom half of inning number six and the five six seven slots do up it's the Braves 10 and the Mariners back here at the ballpark bottom of the sixth inning stepping in the long ball threat Hank Aaron the right field And of course, when it comes to Hank Aaron, he's one of the greatest sluggers of all time. 755 career homers, a record that stood for a long time. Rips one to right. That's a base hit. And a board on the leadoff single. Well, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pick. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you've got to make them pay. Now, Austin Riley. 
And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That's back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. So here's the Braves now designated hitter, the Randy Arozarena. Randy. Lays down a bunt to the right side. Toro flips it behind his back. There to beat him by an eyelash. The batter, number two. Shortstop. Jalen Miller. Jalen Miller next up for the Braves. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Mantle has a beat on it. Brings it in for the third out. One left for Atlanta, but they're still in front. Ten to nine. Welcome back. Top of inning number seven. Here's Jesse Winker. Leading off with the Mariners. The left field. Jesse. Fouled off. He was late. Next pitch inside. And now it's even one and one. Right-hander kicks deals. And the count one and two. They must have been looking for something else because he gave up on that pitch a little early. It was right down Main Street. Probably not going to see a better pitch to hit in this at bat. Miller collects, gathers, oh. and throws to first. That's the first out in the top of the seventh. Now hey, Eugenio Suarez up hey, to Eugenio. the plate now. Orlando Arcia. He's the new shortstop as he comes in as a defensive replacement here. Also entering the game, Eddie Rosario. He'll be out in left field. Also into the ball game, Stan Usual. He takes over as the new first baseman. Number six, Stan Usual. And a foul ball. And he's down 0-2 as he in. swings through it. Righty to the plate. And there's a foul ball. 0-2 now. And down on strikes he goes. And there's two down. Didn't agree with the call at the plate right there. Now, Brook, in a game like this, that's just too close to take. It's a blowout game. The guys have been out here for a while. The umpire's saying, hey, let's go. Cut it loose. Swing the bat. Now, it's the Mariners' DH. Jared Kellner, one for two. Here comes the manager out of the Braves' dugout, and he will make a move to the pen. Here comes a new arm for the Braves, Colin McHugh. And he'll try to keep this big lead right where it is. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. And a pitch. In for a strike, and the count is 0-2. There you get pitch backed up a little bit, expecting it to go middle away, and it just sort of stayed on the inside corner. Probably good take, because he would have gotten jammed had he swung the bat. The 0-2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Third out. That ends the frame. And one, two, three. Go to Mariners. They're down 10 nothing. Back here in Atlanta. Set for the last half of the seventh. Now in for the Braves. William Contreras. The catcher. William. And a pitch. That one ripped. And a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Rios stands in now and watches strike one. Kicks and deals. Fly ball to right. 
And out number one on the grab. Man at first. Ozzie Albee. Next up for the Braves. Albee. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Oh, this has no been a really team. nice Number game eight. at the plate for him. He Eddie. looks locked in. I'll tell you, man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. Sheffield pulls it down, and there are two outs. The first base and next Number for six. Atlanta, Stan Musial. Yeah. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. Out towards left center. Makes the grab on the run. And that'll do it. Two left for Atlanta, but they still hold eight. And welcome back. Now it's the right fielder, Mitch Hanniger. Leading off for the Mariners. The right fielder. And Mitch first offering is Hanager. fouled off. So why to kick the pitch? And that one fouled off. And the 0-2. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Here's the 0-2. Swing and a foul back, that's out of play. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. Rosario makes the play, and there's two down. Two Not outs, bad. base is empty. And up next for Harry. Seattle, Harry Ford. Oh. And first offering is fouled off. Hey. There's a strike. Oh, okay. He'll two. And a swing and a miss. And that is that. Nobody left for Seattle. Not looking good. They're down 10 nothing. Bottom of the eighth. And stepping in is the speedy Hank Aaron. Lady Gunner for the Braves. The right fielder. And he deals. Aaron. That one hit to right. Hanniger makes the grab. One pitch and one out. Almost a loud start to the inning on that first pitch. Man, he's going to want that one back, no now doubt. Batting, third Austin Riley, Austin. next up for the Braves. Riley. There's a swing and a drive. That one's got a chance. Pulls it in on the warning track. Up next for Atlanta, the designated hitter, Randy. So now the DH spot, Randy or Rosarena. Good contact guy, good defender. Gets the bunt down the right side. Puts the tag on him, and that's the inning. Here at the ballpark, here's the second baseman, Joe Morgan. Time called as the pitching coach makes a visit to the mound. One reliever still getting loose out the pen. We're back, it's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound, Juan Marichal. And he's got a nice lead to work with. Marichal. pitch. There's the strike. And here it comes. Hey. 
stays alive. In the air to left center, Rios slides back. Long run, tracks it down. And there's one away. That's just a really nice catch no, on the run right there. He saved extra bases for sure. If the pitcher's his friend, he'll give him a second to catch his breath before he's ready to deal the next pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Now fly ball to right center. Rios puts the squeeze on that one. That's out number two. The center field. Two outs, base is empty. And now for Seattle, Mickey Mantle. And a foul ball. Right-handed reliever. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. He's got a ball team. And the Braves slug their way to a win in this one. Well, I don't know what they did in the cage today or on the field for batting practice, but when you win by double digits, something is clicking. That batting coach feels pretty good about himself right now. But more so the players. They can't wait for the next one. Come back out, score, and get another W. Here's another look at the numbers from this shutout victory. Well, it takes a team effort to produce a shutout. I mean, sometimes you just got to tip your cap. Ten zip your final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, yeah, yeah.